Okay, so please go on your mats. Go on your fours. Your wrist just below your uh, shoulders, your knees just below your hips. Neutral spine. So engage your core, but don't do anything with your spine just yet. Okay, now I want you to bring your attention to your tailbone. As you inhale, you lift your tailbone up, drop your belly, drop your chest, raise your head up, but don't lift your shoulders. As you breathe out, bring your attention to your head. So take your head down first, then lift your chest, lift your belly, last drop your tailbone. So we're doing it slightly differently today. So you start at the base with your tailbone going up, dropping your belly, dropping your chest, lifting your head. And as you breathe out, take your head down all the way into your chest, lift your chest, lift your belly, drop your tailbone. Again, lift your tailbone, drop your belly as you breathe in, you're going to do this. And raise your head up. As you breathe out, take your chin into your chest, lift your chest, lift your belly into your spine, drop your tailbone. Last time, lift your tailbone up, drop your belly, drop your chest, raise your head. As you breathe out, drop your head, draw, lift your chest, lift your belly and drop your tailbone. Come into neutral spine. Inhale. As you exhale, take now take your right elbow to the floor and look towards your left. Inhale, straighten your right arm. As you exhale, drop your left elbow into the floor, look to your right. Inhale, straighten your arm. As you exhale, drop your right elbow. Inhale, straighten your arm. Exhale, drop your left elbow. Inhale, straighten your arm. Now as you exhale, thread the needle. So take your right arm under your left arm. Stretch as far as it will go and drop your shoulder to the floor. Inhale, come back up. As you exhale, take your left arm all the way down and drop it on the floor, drop your shoulder to the floor. Inhale, come back up. Again, do it on the right. As you exhale, you take your shoulder down. Inhale, come back up. As you exhale, take your left shoulder down. Inhale, come back up. Now, neutral spine again. As you inhale, move your shoulders forward. As you exhale, Go back in a circular movement, going anti-clockwise. So come to your right as you inhale, as you exhale. Go to your left, roll, roll your body round. Coming all the way, this is a very good uh, sort of exercise to just loosen all the muscles. And all the way around. Now reverse the movement. As you exhale, go to your right. All the way around and come back forward. When you go back, try to take your tailbone back between your heels. So your glutes are on your heels as you go down. So really stretching your body. Last time. Very good. Now come to neutral spine again. Raise your knees just off the floor. Just enough. Exhale as you push your tailbone back. Hold it there. Hold it there. Push your shoulders away from your ears. Inhale, come forward. Bring your knees to the floor. Again, neutral spine. Engage your core. Inhale and as you exhale, raise your knees off the floor. Hold it there. One, two, three three, four, now push
push your tailbone back, crouching. Hold it there. One, two, three, four. As you inhale, straighten your legs a little more and hold it there. Don't straight it, straighten it fully, just hold it. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. Keep your left knee bent. Inhale and as you exhale, try to straighten your right leg. Pushing your heel towards the floor. Even if it doesn't touch the floor, don't worry about it. You're just warming up. Bring your right knee in as you inhale. Stretch your left leg as you exhale. Pull your tummy in. Bring your left knee in as you inhale. Stretch your left right as you exhale. Bring your right in. Stretch your left. Bring your left in. Stretch your right. Bring your right in. Stretch your left. Last time. Bring your left in. Stretch your right. Bring your right in. Stretch your left and put your knees on the floor. Go into child's pose. Walk your hands back. Give your shoulders and arms a bit of rest. Walk your hands back. You can put your head on your palms. Just bend into your elbows and just relax. Relax for a few breaths here. Okay, inhale as you come back up, pushing yourself up again, come into the position with, the, with your fours on the floor, knees down, show in your palms down. Now take your arms at an angle slightly in front of you, at an angle. Okay, engage your core. We're going to go into the Adho Mukha Svanasana, downward facing dog. So, as you inhale, lift your tailbone up, but stand on the ball of your feet. As you exhale, push your tailbone away from you. So while you push your tailbone away, your heel starts going closer to the floor. Inhale, raise your heels up. Push your belly into your thigh. And as you exhale, push your tailbone away from you so that your heels go down into the floor. Engage your core. One more time. Lift it up. And then push it down. The last time lift it up. And then push it down. So each time you're going lower with your head closer to the floor. Come into plank. Hold it there. Engage your core. Push your heels away from you. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. Again, now lift your tailbone up. Take a step forward with your feet, place your heels on the floor, inhale and as you exhale walk your hands back, walk your hands back, place your palms on the floor if you can, if you can't don't worry about it, go as far as you can but you shouldn't feel any pain anywhere, it's just a nice stretch for your hamstrings, lengthen your spine, place your palms on your shin. Lengthen your spine. Pull your belly into your spine. Lengthen your spine. Bend your knees slightly. As you inhale, take your arms out onto the side. Raise them above your head. And bring them to your chest. Okay, again now. Inhale, take your arms up. Bend your knees slightly. And lean back from your belly. So let your belly hold your weight. Look up at your thumb. Now inhale, straighten your legs. As you exhale, fold forward, reaching forward for the floor. Slowly pulling your tummy in as you go down. Keep your back as straight as possible. So try and bring your belly onto your thighs. Place your palms on the floor. Drop your head. Now straighten your spine, lengthening your spine. As you inhale, you walk your hands forward slowly with small steps. One, two, three, four, five, 
six, seven, and for eight, hold in plank. Push your heels away from you. I'm going to count one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. Bring your knees down to the floor as you inhale. Bring your elbows down on the floor just below your shoulders as you exhale. Place your palms on the floor. Engage your core. Inhale and as you exhale, stretch your legs out. First your right leg, then your left leg and come into the low plank. Hold it there. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. Bring your knees down. Lift your shoulders up. Wrists just below your shoulders. Flex your feet. Raise your tailbone up. Go into downward facing dog. As you breathe out, you push your heels down. Hold it there. Take a deep breath in and push your tailbone back as you breathe out. Now as you breathe in, walk your hands back. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven. For eight, just lengthen your spine. And as you inhale, raise your arms up. Bring it to your chest as you breathe out. Again, inhale, take your arms up. Look at your thumbs. Bend your knees slightly. Lean back from your belly. Inhale, straighten your legs. As you exhale, go forward. Put your palms down on the floor. Walk your hands. One, two, three, four, five, Six, seven, eight, come into plank. Hold it there. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, eight, seven, six, five, four, three, two, one. Bring your knees down as you inhale. As you exhale, you drop your elbows down. Get your position right, engage your core. Inhale, and as you exhale, stretch your legs out, hip widths apart. And hold low plank. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, eight, seven, six, five, four, three, two. One, bring your knees down as you inhale. Lift your shoulders up as you exhale. Flex your feet. Raise your knees up as you inhale. Keep them bent. Crouch as you exhale. Lift your tailbone up as you inhale. Drop your heels down and push your tailbone back as you exhale. Hold it there. One, two, three. Four, five, six, seven, eight, eight, seven, six, five, four, three, two, one. Inhale, bring your knees down. Exhale, straighten your legs into high plank. Hold it there. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven. Eight, bring your knees down. Drop your elbows as you exhale. Take a deep breath. And as you exhale, straighten your legs. Hold your core. Balance. Squeeze your muscles. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. Bring your knees down. Lift your shoulders up. As you exhale, stretch your legs out again. High plank. Hold your body. Squeeze your muscles. Push your heels away from you. One, two, three, four. Drop your knees. Drop your elbows. 
Stretch your legs out again now. Low plank. One, two, three, four. Drop your knees. Lift your shoulders. Stretch your legs. Hold. One, two, three, four. Drop your knees. Drop your elbows. Stretch your legs. One, two, three, four. Drop your knees. Now we're going to do it for two counts. Raise your shoulders. If you find it too hard, please do take a break and then join when you're ready. Hold. One, two. Drop your knees. Drop your elbows. Straighten your legs. Hold. One, two. Drop your knees. Raise your shoulders. Flex your feet. Lift your tailbone up. Push it back. Drop your heels into downward facing dog. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. And bring your knees down into child's pose. Bring your feet together. Walk your hands back. If you want, you can also put a cushion on the floor to place your head or you can place your palms and put your head down. And breathe. Just relax. Inhale as you come up. Is everyone okay? Thumbs up if you're okay. Excellent. Now, so we're going to do some standing uh, stretches. So please stand, face the face the camera. I think I should move the camera down a little so that you can see the mat some more. Right. Okay. Now, stand with your feet together to start with, okay? Take your legs wide apart, but comfortably so. It shouldn't, you shouldn't feel any strain anywhere, but it should be wide enough that you feel your muscles stretching, okay? You should feel the stretch here. Okay. Inhale, lengthen your spine. Get to your position right, drop your shoulders. As you exhale, lift the toes of your right leg and turn them out. Bring your heel in. So it's at 90 degrees. Okay? Keep your left leg facing front. If you want, you can tilt it a little so that it's at an angle of about 20 degrees. Okay? But you can keep it straight. Inhale. Stretch your arms at shoulder level. Shoulder level. Now, as you exhale, just tilt your body to the side. And go down only as far as your body allows you to go. Don't try to go too far low. Okay? Inhale. Come back up. As you exhale, push your knee towards your toes. Now, your, the center of your knee should be in line with your middle toe. The, the two toes in the middle. Okay? And... Your knee should not go beyond your ankle. If you feel that your knee is going beyond your ankle, you'll have to shift the back foot a little or crawl forward with the front. So you bend your knee. Inhale as you raise your right arm and drop your left arm only as far as your body will go. Inhale, straighten that leg. Exhale. Go down. Only as far as your body will go. Inhale. Come back up. Exhale. Bend your knee. Inhale. Raise your arm. Exhale. Lean back. Inhale. Straighten that leg. Exhale. Go down. And if you notice, each time you'll go deeper because your body, you're stretching your body. Inhale, come back up. Exhale, as you bend your knee, you drop your back arm down and raise this arm up. 
in, come back out. Exhale, go down. Hold it there. Now I'm going to count to eight. One, two, three, four. You can turn your head if you want. Five, six, seven, eight. Inhale, come back up. As you exhale, bend your knee. Take your arm up and your left arm down. You can look up if you can, if you want. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. Inhale, straighten your legs. Turn your feet to face front. Crawl your feet in a little. Bring your legs together. Go into the rag doll position. Just bending your knees. Put your chest on your thighs. Drop your arms down. Drop your head down. You can just rock from side to side. Relaxing those leg muscles that you have just stretched. Inhale as you come back up. Now we're going to repeat on the other side, okay? So take your legs comfortably wide apart. Turn your left foot at 90 degrees. Body facing front. Inhale, stretch. As you exhale, go down only as much as your body allows you to go. In, come back up. Exhale, push your knee forward, raise your arm up, drop the back arm down on your leg only as far as it will go. Inhale, come back up. Exhale, go down. Inhale, come back up. Exhale, go down. Raise your arm up. Hold your core tight. Engage your core. Inhale, come back up. Exhale, go down. And if you notice, each time you're going further because you're really stretching those muscles. Inhale, come back up. Exhale, go down. Lean back. Inhale, straighten your legs. Exhale, go down. I'm going to count one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. Inhale, come back up. Exhale, bend your knee, raise your arm, drop this arm down. You can look up if you want. One, two, three, four, Five, six, seven, eight. Inhale, straighten your legs, arms down. Walk your legs in. Go into the right dog position. Just relax. Inhale, come back up. Again, take your legs comfortably wide apart, but both feet will be facing front. Okay, place your palms, open it like that, and place it on your hip joint. Okay, lengthen your spine. So when I say lengthen your spine, don't lift your shoulders. Drop your shoulders back. Roll them back and drop them. Inhale. And as you exhale, just fold forward, but keep your back straight. Keep your back straight and just folding halfway. Hold it there. Just hold it there. Lift your kneecap a little. Squeeze your leg muscles. Feel, feel your hamstrings and your glutes and your calves stretching. Pull your tummy in. Inhale, come back up. Exhale. Again, 
Inhale, lengthen your spine. As you exhale, fold forward. Look at a point on the floor and go towards that point. You're pushing your chest towards the floor. So keep your back straight. Hold that position. Inhale again. As you exhale, push your chest towards the floor again. Hold that position. Inhale. And as you exhale, push your palms on the floor. Open your fingers. Press your palms down. Now, you can widen your legs a little if you want because I want you to feel the stretch in the, your hamstrings but also in your inner thighs. Yeah? Now, push your tailbone back. Make sure you don't lean forward. Consciously push your tailbone back. Okay? As you exhale. Take, walk your hands forward slowly as you inhale. Just take a few small steps with your arms and go only as far as you can comfortably do so. Don't slip or fall. Press your heels into the floor. Press the outside of your feet into the floor. Push your tailbone back. Feel the stretch. Push your tailbone back. Bring your palms slightly closer as you inhale and when you exhale, drop your elbows into the floor and push your tailbone back. Feel the stretch. Feel the stretch. You can walk your hands back a little more and try and bring your head down to the floor if possible. Relax your shoulders. Don't lift your shoulders. Push your shoulders back. Feel the stretch in your back. Inhale, raise your shoulders and your body up, straight spine, take your palms back, put your weight on your palms slightly, walk your legs in, walk your legs in so that they're comf at a comfortable distance, bend your knees, turn your feet out, bend your knees and slowly raise your back up. Curving your spine slowly as you breathe in. Lift yourself up. And straighten your legs. And bring your feet together. Bend into ragdoll again. And relax. Inhale as you go back up. Okay. Everyone okay? Right. Go on your fours now again. Take your palms slightly at an angle. Inhale as you lift your tailbone up and push your tailbone back but stay on the ball of your feet. So don't put your heels down. Stay on the ball of your feet. Pull your tummy in. Inhale as you raise your right leg up with your toes pointed. As high as you can. As high as you can. As you exhale, bring your knees to your chest in front. Inhale. Take your leg up again. As you exhale, bring your knee forward. Inhale, take it up again. As you exhale, bring it in. Last time. Inhale, take it up. As you exhale, bring it in and drop your shin on the floor. Walk your left leg back. Put your left knee on the floor. Point your toes of the left leg and drop your chest down on your right knee with your elbows on the floor. So this automatically pushes your hip into the floor as well. Now, raise your shoulders like we do in Bhujangasana. So lengthen your spine, pushing your shoulders forward. Inhale as you raise your shoulders up and straighten your arms 
as you lift your chest and your shoulders, keeping your back as straight as possible. Lift it up, lifting it up, hold it there. Go down. If you find that your shoulders or neck is hurting when we do the downward facing dog, please don't do it. Just come straight into the pigeon pose. From, from the uh, downward facing dog, just get into the downward facing dog and come straight into the pigeon pose. Again, raise yourself. Now take your palms back closer to your knees and straighten your back as much as possible. Push your hip into the floor as close to the floor as possible. If you feel that your hip is not reaching the floor, you can keep a cushion under your, under your uh, bottom. But push your hip into the floor. Hold it there. Straighten your arm. Okay. As you exhale, bring your chest down to the floor. Take your palm slightly forward in line with your head. Flex your left foot. Raise yourself. Slide your right leg back and go into downward facing dog. Manu, if you feel that your shoulders are hurting, it's a bit uh, hard for you to do these. Just go straight into the pigeon pose, please. Again, raise your heels. Inhale as you lift your left leg up. Exhale as you bring it close to your chest. Inhale as you lift it up. Exhale as you bring it close to your chest. Inhale as you raise it up. Exhale as you bring it in. Last time. Inhale as you raise it up. Exhale as you bring it in. Drop your shin down. Walk your leg back. Put your knee down. And bring your chest to your knee, your elbow down, point your toes, hold it there, feel the stretch, feel the stretch. As you inhale, press your palm into the floor, lengthen your spine, push your body forward like you do in Bhajandasana and raise your chest and your shoulders up. Hold it there, feel the stretch. Feel a stretch in your hamstring and your glutes. Walk your hand back a little in line with your knee and straighten your palms, lengthening your spine. But drop your shoulders down, don't raise your shoulders. Feel the lengthening, feel the stretch. Hold it there for a few breaths, deep breaths into your belly. As you exhale, slowly lower your chest. Take your palms forward in line with your head. Flex your right foot. Lift yourself up. Slide your left leg. Go into downward facing dog. Hold it there for a few breaths. Bring your knees down and slowly put your elbows down and go into the sphinx pose, stretching your legs out, drop your hip on the floor, raise your chest up, push your elbows into the floor, your palms into the floor, shoulders away from your ears, but push your chest forward, feel the stretch. It's quite a relaxing uh, pose actually this. Go down. Place your head on your palms. Just relax for a few breaths here.
Okay, place your palms in line with your chest. Okay, pull your elbows and your upper arm into your ribcage. As you inhale, lengthen your spine and raise yourself up in cobra, pushing your shoulders down. Your belly should be doing all the work. As you exhale, go down. Again, one more time. Push your shoulders back. Squeeze your shoulder blades together. Squeeze your arms into your rib cage. Inhale, raise yourself up. Don't tilt your head. Your head should be in line with your spine. Hold it there. Shallow breaths into your lungs. Exhale. Flex your feet. Again, raise yourself up. Let your knees be on the floor. Pull your tummy in. Straighten your arms. Inhale and as you exhale, straighten your knees. Push your hips forward. Stretch your legs. Hold yourself. Drop your knees. Push your tailbone back, go into child's pose and put your palms down and place your head on your palms. Okay. Come back up now. We're going to go on our back and we're going to do some abs. Yeah? Okay for abs? Yeah, come. So sit on your sit bone, lengthen your spine, pull your knees close to your chest. Okay? Stretch your arms forward. Now, if you have a pain in your lower back, you have to be very careful. Don't put any strain. You can support yourself, engage your core, and just hold your weight on your palms slightly, but your palms should face front, and hold it like that, okay? But if you have, if you have no issues with your back, please engage your core. This will really work your abs. So raise your toes up. Stretch your arms uh, shoulder at shoulder length. Straighten your back. As you inhale, just lean back as much as you can, but feel your core working. You should not feel anything in your back. It's your core. And hold it there. Push your chest forward. One, two, three, four, Five, six, seven, eight. Come forward as you inhale again. <sighs> Exhale. Again as you inhale. Go back only as far as you can. As you exhale, raise your right knee up. As you inhale, take your right leg down. As you exhale, raise your left leg up with your knee bent. Drop it down as you inhale. Lift it up on the right when you in exhale. Drop it down. Lift your left as you exhale. Drop it down as you inhale. Lift your right and hold. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. Bring it down. Lift to your left as you exhale. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. Drop it, inhale as you come back. As I said, please do feel free to support yourself as you go back. You don't have to strain your body if you can't do it. But this is fantastic for your core, okay? Now, I don't know if 
all of you can do this please do try but only as much as your body allows you you should not feel any pain anywhere it is just a nice very strong stretch so i'm preparing your body for navasana so this is all bits of uh, the exercise that or asanas that you're going to do to prepare your body okay so you keep your left foot on the floor as it you know bring your knee up you can hold your left leg if you want okay lift your right knee hook your big toe with your two fingers like that inhale bring your right foot as close to you as possible as you exhale you try and straighten your leg keep your back straight you can hold your left leg for support if you feel you're strong enough you can lift your left arm and hold your leg with both arms but make sure you don't hunch your back keep your back straight engage your core 1 2 3 4 5 6 7 8 9 10 11 bend your knee place it down gently and release it now place your right foot on the floor you can hold it if you want hook your big toe of your left foot lengthen your spine bring your foot in close to you as you inhale as you exhale you lengthen that leg hold it straight lengthen your spine as well don't hunch your back if you feel strong enough and you have more stability you can use both arms straighten your back push your chest towards your knee and focus and hold 1 2 3 4 5 6 7 8 and slowly bring it down very good now lie down on the floor press your spine into the floor okay curve your tailbone a little place your palms down press your shoulders into the floor as well inhale as you exhale raise your right leg up table top bending your knees again get your balance inhale as you exhale lift your left leg up now If you want to challenge yourself you can by all means raise your shoulders but support your neck okay but even if you keep your shoulders down this works your lower abs especially it's a fantastic uh, exercise so as you inhale you're just going to tap your right toe on the floor as you exhale you're going to raise it up and you're going to repeat this action for 16 counts on your right 16 counts on your left and then we're going to alternate okay but make sure the rest of your body is really still your left leg has to be still when you work your right leg and your right leg has to be still when you work your left leg so what happens is your core really is then engaged okay so here we go ready 5 6 7 8 inhale as you draw 1 2 3 4 Five, six, seven, eight, eight, seven, six, five, four, three, two, one. Swap leg. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, eight, seven. Six, five, four, three, two. Alternate. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, two, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, three, two. Three, four, five, six, seven, eight, four, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. Back.
back to the right. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, eight, seven, six, five, four, three, two, swap. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, eight, seven, six, five, four, three, two, one. Relax. Bring your knees to your chest. Now squeeze your belly and rock from side to side. Place your feet down, turn to your right, press your palms down, sit up slowly. And I want to come to the come to the screen now. Okay. Is everyone okay? So please unmute yourselves. If, uh, please unmute yourselves. I can't seem to unmute you. Yeah. Right. Do you feel all fully worked out? Yeah. Yeah. More <laughs> on the thighs. Is it supposed to be feeling on the thighs more? Yeah. Whichever muscle needs more working, that will work first. Okay. Yeah, 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 yeah. The, see the uh, especially the, uh, the abs that I do, they work your quads as well. So it's leg exercise as well as abs. It's not just the abs. Oh. Yeah. But because you're focusing on movement, you don't realize that your abs are really uh, engaged and you're working. So this is one of the variations that we do. But well done. Oh. So next week we will start the next uh, term. Uh, this term is a long term, so I will do 12 sessions so that we don't have a very long gap in December. So we'll, we'll go on till 6th of December with a break on the 25th of October because it's half term holidays. Okay. So if your kids are at home and all that, you can have some weekend off. Yeah? yeah. So, so well done. Well done. I'm going to get you into Shavasana now soon. So I just thought I'll have a... Quick chat and tell you that we're going to start again. Just do, actually, I've been working out from your 50 plus uh, abdomen work workout actually regularly. Excellent. Now, if you can add this as a library, we can alternate between. I think I've put this. I've, this is there. This is there. All these exercises are there. I've most of the exercises that I do, I have put. Okay, in a, there, there are uh, two or three ab workouts that I have put, isn't it? So okay. I think I've put all of them. So you just, okay. because some of them are quite long, so you'll have to go through the whole thing to to come to this. So, but do okay. only what you your body allows you to do, okay? Work towards it. Work towards uh, that target of, okay, I want to do this many or I want to do that many. Uh, and then gradually build up the strength because it takes sometimes, you know, if you, if you push yourself too much, you may have injuries. So I just want you to take it slow. I have put things to the full extent of what you can do. Uh, especially the ones with the clock, you know, where your leg goes down in stages. That, yeah. if you've got lower back pain, you have to be very careful. Then preferably avoid that because that puts a lot of strain on the lower back if you don't have core strength. Once your core strength is good, then you can go down in stages with the legs and then the weights and all that. So that takes time to do, but it will happen. It will happen. So my target actually for myself is to be able to do Navasana without any balance. So I'm going to be pushing you all as well. So every week we're going to do bit by bit by bit by bit of that Navasana. So today we did one bit of just lifting one leg with support. So slowly, slowly we'll build it up. So hopefully by this year, and at least you should be able to do Ardha Navasana without support. Yeah? Okay. Yeah. Well done. Fabulous, fabulous. I'm so proud of all of you. So I shall see you next week. So please lie down and get into Shavasana. I'll just take you through the Shavasana and then I'll sign out. Excellent. Okay. Just relax. Bring your attention to your feet. 
wriggle your toes a little. Roll your feet round anti-clockwise and clockwise a few times. And then just relax your muscles. Let your feet just flop to the side. Bring your attention to your legs. Work your way up your calves, your quads. Bring your attention to your abs. Now see how your belly rises and ebbs as you breathe. Let the breath be natural. Don't force it. Don't try to breathe hard or exhale hard. Just let it be a natural movement. Let that rhythm keep going. Like the waves, gentle waves coming in and out. And gently touching the rocks and going back. So it's just a very gentle movement. Bring your attention to your arms. Drop your palms out facing the sky and relax your fingers. Absolutely no tension in any muscle in your body. Bring your attention to your shoulders. Let your shoulders just drop back into the floor. Now bring your attention to the point between your eyebrows. Imagine there is a beautiful light spark of light there which is spreading a warmth all through your body. You're lying down on this beautiful soft grass. You can feel cool breeze blowing all over you, but you are nice and warm and comfortable. You can hear the birds chirping. You can hear waterfalls in a distance. You're on this beautiful, soft, cushioned grass. The beautiful meadows around you, fragrant flowers, the rustling of the leaves and the gentle breeze. Absolutely no thoughts of anything, just you and nature being one, enjoying the beauty around you, the calmness around you. Don't think about anything, no tensions, no worries, no thoughts, nothing. Just you in this moment, completely relaxed. Let your mind just drift. Don't hold any thoughts, but if thoughts do come to your head, let it just pass. Don't try to block them. It'll just pass and eventually your mind will be calm. Stay here and enjoy this moment. Stay here as long as you want to. And only when you're ready, come back to your routine. But stay here as long. This is your time. This is the me time that we all need. Away from everything. Away from everyone. Just you in this beautiful natural surrounding. Have a good week and I shall see you next week. When you're ready, please do turn to your right and slowly sit up, but get used to the surrounding by opening your eyes and rubbing your palms together and all that. So don't just rush out into the present. Just be in this moment now for some more time. Relax, enjoy yourself. And I shall see you next week. Have a good week. Bye-bye.